All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will call the uh, public hearing to order. Uh, this is for the 2020 annual and five year plan. So I'll ask Ms. Kim Thomas to come up and give us an overview. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We are going to do a quick overview of the 2020 annual and five year plan process as we embark on our uh, inaugural endeavor of commencing a virtual public hearing. Welcome to 2020, everyone. <laughs> Let's get started. So just a little bit of background. The Quality Housing and Work Responsibility Act of 1998 requires that all public housing authorities complete a five-year plan and an annual plan. The plan must be inclusive of major goals, objectives, strategies for both public housing and Section 8 such as demolition disposition, site-based waiting list, requirements and mandates by HUD, and other objectives and strategies for achieving our mission. Going through a brief schedule of what led up to today's activity, in August through December of 2019, we held a series of resident forums in each of our public housing and uh, project-based voucher communities. We also, uh, through April, excuse me, December 20, 2019 and April 2020, convened our 25 plus member resident advisory board. This board is made up exclusively of residents who live in our communities and who participate in our Section 8 or Housing Choice Voucher Program. Through this process, they heard directly from staff, asked questions about proposed policies and initiatives that are included in this plan. And also at the end of this process, post public comment, we'll make a recommendation to the board based on what they've heard and what they've seen through this plan process. The public comment period has been a little tricky. We've had two this year. Uh, the first was February 18th through April 30th of this year, which was really the commencement of our regular schedule for this annual plan process. But welcome COVID-19, we, one of the most immediate and first effects that we saw of this pandemic was our inability to host our public hearing in March as we normally would. So once that was uh, canceled, we got, received guidance in May of 2020 from HUD that said that we would be granted a waiver to allow us to delay the submission of this document to the Department of Housing and Urban Development until eight, October 18th, 2020. So this is why we're here today. We did not go forward with the initial public hearing in March. We received the waiver, and now we are commencing the 45-day review as directed by HUD. The public comment period that we are in now is currently from July 27th through September the 11th, that's tomorrow, 2020. And we are receiving comments in several ways with this round of public comments. We are receiving them through email directly to me. There is a dedicated phone line, 757-314-1320, that we will continue to receive comments until 5 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern. And we are also convening this virtual public hearing today. The Resident Advisory Board, again, made up of those 25 residents of our public housing and assisted communities will convene later this month to review the comments that are received today and that have been received over this 45 day period. And then I will submit the annual and five year plan to HUD October 18th, 2020 on or before October 18th, 2020. And this effective date of this plan will be January 1st, 2021. So we will shift our effective date by about six months because of the waiver. Just a few call outs to bring to your attention. This is again an annual and five year plan um, that goes through June 30th, 2025, possibly extended to December 31st if we continue to operate now on a new calendar year, um, January 1st to December 31st, 2025. The proposed update overall plan goals um, are included in this draft plan that is out for review right now. So this is a, a combination of feedback from staff, um, information that we've received up until March from the Resident Advisory Board, 
and also anticipated projects that we seek to undertake as part of our five-year goals for the agency. It also incorporates the administrative plan and admission and some continued occupancy policy. These are policy documents that really convene the public housing side as well as the housing choice voucher side of operations here at the Housing Authority. We've updated language in the Section 3 and economic inclusion activities. There is a capital fund schedule and update that's included in this plan. And there are also other program updates and goals as needed. So you will see in a section of the plan, we look at goals throughout each of our policy uh, and programs in a one year time frame and a five year time frame. So it's inclusive of both of those documents. I do want to recognize our board of commissioners with our chair, Mr. Don Masaccio and Vice Chair Alfonso Albert, Rose Arrington, Ken Benassi, Joe Dillard Jr., Richard Gresham, and Suzanne Perrier. These are the folks who are assembled today to hear public comment and who will ultimately provide the approval of the resolution for this document to be able to go into effect. I do want to point out that as the board, it has been declared that the board is assembled to hear public comments today. Reactions, comments, and dialogue will only occur from the board if the board feels that a comment is erroneously, erroneously false, misleading, or otherwise harmful to today's proceedings or the mission of the agency. In years past, the board normally assembles and just hears the comment. But I think based on some transactions that have happened before in the past, we want to make sure that we preserve the work that's being done here and the board has agreed that if they feel it is necessary to clarify any statements, reactions, or comments, that they will take the liberty to do so. All comments will be transcribed and included in the final draft of the plan that will be submitted to HUD as required with applicable responses as they relate to the annual and five-year plan. So we may have folks who have specific questions about things going on in their community, their household. This is not really the forum for those discussions. We are looking for public comments related to this policy document. However, we do have staff who are listening in to the call, and we will assure that those questions are uh, answered or at least uh, addressed by staff following this meeting. And I'm sure um, Mr. Masashi will go over this, but just to say it clearly, we need to make sure that as speakers, especially those who are on the line, um, are given the opportunity to voice their comment, that you please cl speak clearly, speak your full name, your address, and please limit your comments to three minutes. Mr. Masashi. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome. Uh, again, callers, if you're please. Hit dial, if you want to make a comment, dial star three. And for callers, dial star three. If you're an online viewer, type your comment into the box below the video. Again, I, we would also make sure that you state your name and address uh, if you're a caller or type your name and address uh, before you make a comment. I'll open it now for public comment. Anything from right, the monitor? At, yeah. Yes, sir. Looking oh, at the yeah. uh, at the Q and A queue online, we have a submission by Modell Lewis, and the question is: When are you going to continue to finish the homes for seniors? COVID nineteen has got me on hold. Okay, that is one of the kinds of things that we have talked about that. Uh, doesn't directly address the annual plan, but we will make sure that someone uh, answers that particular piece. Okay, sir. So as a reminder for everyone listening to this call, if you have a question or a comment that you would like to make live during this call, please press star three on your telephone keypad. Again, press star three on your telephone keypad if you are listening to this conversation on your telephone, or if you are listening and viewing through the online website, 
you can type your name, question, and address below the streaming video player in your browser. So another question we have submitted online, this one is from Sasha White. Sasha asks, because of the virus, are you still going into people's homes to inspect? Uh, again, that's one of the things that we will have addressed specifically, but since it does not deal directly with the plan, uh, we'll get to have someone get back to her on that. All right, and at this moment, Mr. Chairman, I show no further questions in the online queue or live callers with questions or comments. So I'll hand the meeting right. back to you and let you know if anything appears. Thank you. Uh, Jen, would you check the hallway again, please? in the hallway. All right, no guests in the hallway. Moderator, has anyone come in? No, sir. We have uh, no uh, no new questions in the online queue, and I see no one in the live queue, but as a reminder, if you are listening to this conversation via your telephone and you have a question or a comment that you would like to make, now is the time for you to press star three on your telephone keypad to enter the question and comment queue. And if you are watching this online, you can enter your question or comment below the streaming player. All right, I, will, I think it's appropriate that we give about three, three more minutes or so for folks to uh, participate, uh, and then we'll see what happens then. So uh, for about the next three minutes, uh, we'll keep it open for any more public comment. Mr. Chairman, I do show an online question has arrived. All right, thank you. And this question is posed by Carl Poole. The question is, is one-to-one -one replacing of public housing, un housing units a part of the current one-year or five-year plan for the St. Paul's housing development? Okay, uh, and we will make sure that we get someone to get back with him on that particular one, since it doesn't really directly go to the five-year plan, but we will make sure someone answers that for him. Thank you, sir. So, Mr. Chairman, we do have a caller queued and ready to uh, join the call. All right. Looks like we are being joined live by Tara Johnson. Hello, Ms. Johnson. Welcome to the call. And go ahead Hi. with your question or comment. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I just wanted to ask, are they going to do workshop on the um, – on the on the program for like CMC or, or people first to also help people get 
assess for maybe jobs or opportunities to be able to better afford um, this move? And um, are they going to have any kind of um, uh, um, um, molten stone um, in the houses currently? Uh, yes, we'll have some, again, unfortunately that doesn't go directly to the five-year plan, but I will have somebody get back with you directly to answer those questions for you. Uh, thank you for asking the question, but I will make sure that someone gets back to you uh, relatively soon. Okay. Uh, and, and can we get your address just so I can make sure that happens? Um, I'm one of the, um, I'm on one of the people on the, um, on the list for, um, members, community members, Carol okay. Johnson, you have my okay. email address. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, again, with the technology, we're trying to coordinate everything. And I see that someone does have your address and they, they will make sure they get back to you quickly. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much. All righty. Okay, and as a reminder, if you have a question or a comment that you would like to make during this call, please press star three now on your telephone keypad to enter the question and answer queue. If you are watching this on the website, you can type your name and question below the streaming player. We have Kyle Wilson now joining us live on the phone. Go ahead with your question. It wasn't a question. It was just a, a reminder of a question or a comment that you would like to make during this call. It wasn't a question. It was just a comment that I appreciate you all having the annual plan this year and that I'm actually on my computer also and there's nowhere on my screen below it to write a comment. So maybe in the future you work on that. Okay, we're trying to uh, work with the technical folks to make sure that it's clear where you put your comment in. Thank you for that observation. Okay, and just a quick <laughs> clarification. If you are listening to this on the website and choose to also press star three on your telephone, we ask that you turn your computer speaker off. There is a slight delay between the stream on the web and the telephone conversation, and that's what created that echo. So again, we wish to hear from everyone, and we would love to speak with you live and directly. So if you are on the telephone with us, please press star three on your telephone keypad to enter the question queue. But if you have the computer on at the same time, please mute your computer speakers. Now, in regards to people that wish to submit via the computer, if you are on the website beneath the streaming player, you should see a box for you to place your name and another box for you to place in your question. So please, please enter your question through the website, or if you're on the telephone with us, press star three now to enter the question and comment queue. So at present time, Mr. Chairman, uh, I do not see new online questions nor anyone live waiting to ask a question. All right. Then I'll ask uh, Kim. It's still open to when you want to do a comment. The public comment period will remain open until tomorrow at 5 p.m. Folks can still submit their comment via email directly to me at k thomas at nrha.us or by leaving a voicemail message at area code 757-314-1320. And that's until 5 p.m. tomorrow. Eastern time. Eastern time. Before the time changes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just wait one more minute, see if someone comes in. Mr. 
Mr. Chairman, I see an online question that has just come in. Okay. This one is from Steve Paget. Are there programs in place that residents of St. Paul's can access to gain access to home ownership? If so, where would an eligible candidate find these programs? Okay. Uh, again, uh, this is not directly related to the annual plan, but we will make sure that someone gets back to that person. Can they also give us their address? Possible? Okay, so that's okay. We, uh, I'm getting uh, a signal that we, we, we know how to contact that person. And we will get back to them shortly. Okay, another question submitted online, this one by Tara Johnson. Is this plan still a draft? Uh, at this point, yes, we will take the comments. They will, we, part of the process is staff looks at the at the comments uh and then the resident advisory board takes a look at it so there is there is still uh opportunities for comments until five o'clock tomorrow and then also uh, the process has more involvement with the resident advisory board thank you mr chairman we have a caller now joining us Dorothy Jones. Ms. Jones, welcome to the call. Go ahead with your question or comment, please. Hello, Ms. Jones. I had my mute button on. Oh, yes, ma'am. How can we help you today? I have, I'm getting no communication from you all, and I thank you. Uh, housing for sending me the postcard. I do not have a computer, so I cannot go online. And um, I feel totally out of what is happening uh, that would be of interest to me from housing. So I would like to have at least a letter or if send me a letter. I have no idea what the uh, plan, the one year plan is nor the five-year plan. I'm just, I feel completely cut off. So I'm listening in, and I cannot comment on something that I don't know what's going on. If you will, if you can send me a letter or something. I, I, will, I will see that someone gets back to you about uh, where the plan is, where access to the plan and make sure that you have that access. Uh, can we also get an address just quickly? Uh, address is two. Okay, thank you very much. We've got that and I will see that someone gets back to you shortly uh, about access to the plan and that kind of information that you've asked for. Thank you. All right, looking, we have a, another online question submitted by Carl Poole. The question is, will a greater effort be made to increase retention for people first caseworkers a part of the one year or five year plan throughout the redevelopment of the St. Paul's housing development? Uh, yes, we would we will do that. Absolutely there's provisions in there for follow up, all of those kinds of things. Yes. Okay, and up to the minute, that was the last question submitted online, and there are no further questions in the live question queue at the moment. Okay. Do my one minute thing again.
any news, Mr. Moderator? Uh, no, sir. At this moment, we still show no new live callers in the Q&A, nor any new online questions or comments submitted. All right, thank you. Uh, based upon that information, I will close the public hearing. And thank you very much.